God's peace and blessing upon you, friends. Thank you for joining us today in prayer. I'm Father Ron, the team. This is the God Minute. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O Lord, open my lips. And And my my mouth shall shall declare your grace. Psalm 135, Taking Time Despite the depressing conditions of our world and the distortions of our society, or even the problems and conflicts of her own lives, let us take time to praise the Lord. As we take our place in our workday world, let us begin by praising the Lord. When we meet with our family and friends, let us unite our voices in praises to the Lord. Without our God to praise and worship and serve, there is no real purpose in life. When you feel you are forgotten, your loving God never forgets. When you are tired and lonely, your great God will never leave your side. God has reached out to his lost children to lovingly draw them to himself. He gives them identity and purpose, a name and a goal, and makes them eternally secure and significant. Let us praise the Lord. He makes our lives and our living every hour and every day truly worthwhile, and we belong to him forever. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from Joshua chapter 1, verses 7 to 8. Be strong and very courageous. Be careful to obey all the law my servant Moses gave you. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left, and then you will be prosperous and successful wherever you go. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. Most of you know that I love aviation. I love flying. I love watching planes soar through the air. And as weird as it sounds, I love, or I don't mind, let's put it that way, I don't mind layovers, long layovers at airports where I can sit and just look out those giant windows at everything close up sipping a $9 (laughs) cup of coffee. (laughs) I love airports. Well, years ago, I remember I was talking about my love of all of this, and after Mass, a fighter pilot introduced himself to me, and we had this long, fascinating chat. Learned some, oh, fascinating things I never knew before. For example... Did you know that fighter planes need a 56-kilometer-per-hour wind to take off on such a short runway, you know, when they're out in the ocean on the, on the ships? They need a very, very strong wind coming at them to be able to lift off the aircraft carrier. To reach this steady breeze, the captain turns his ship into the wind— And I'm like, well, shouldn't the wind come from behind the plane? You know, and as it takes off, it lifts it up into the air. That makes sense to me, which is why I'm a priest and not a (laughs) fighter pilot. But the guy answered, he said, no, he goes, that's what you would think. But no, it's just the opposite. The jets, they must fly into the wind. And it's only then that they can achieve the lift 
to take them off of the ship and into the air. (laughs) Makes no sense in some ways. Nor does the scripture really. God called Joshua to lead his people into the winds that awaited them in the promised land. Joshua required two things. Internally, he needed to be strong and very courageous, it says in Scripture. And externally, he needed challenges. He needed winds coming at him. This included the daily task of leading thousands of Israelites facing great challenges and winds, facing walled cities, demoralizing defeats, thefts, continual battles, everything that just seemed we're done for. But the wind that blew in Joshua's face didn't take him down. It lifted his life as long as his thrust came from God's instructions. We heard it in the scripture today. God said, you must be careful to obey all my laws. Do not turn from it to the right or to the left. And then you will be prosperous and successful in whatever you do. It's a great lesson. Strong winds blowing right at us, face on, should knock us over. They should stop us right in our tracks, keep us down. Such winds, they're treacherous, something to avoid, no? Well, Maybe no. Maybe those strong winds coming at you, it's the very thing that will raise you up. I mean, could could it be that what we're so afraid of and trying to avoid in our life is the very thing that God is using to bring us to a new place, to lift us into the heavens? making us sore and prosperous in what we do? And together, in the words of Jesus, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. And let us pray. We thank you, Lord our God, how much good you have poured out on us throughout our lives, and how much we should thank you every day. We thank you that again and again we feel your help and lift in our lives, knowing that only you can fill us with what we desire most. And this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Next Tuesday, November 2nd, is All Souls Day. I'm celebrating Eucharist and remembering in that Mass all of the loved ones in your lives who have passed this past year. You've been giving us their names and pictures I just want to know that you there's two more days that that will be open and then we'll have to close it so we can get the stuff ready. 
So just to give you a heads up, you can go to our app blog or website blog and submit the name and the picture of the loved one there. Gosh, what a beautiful thing we can do for each other, is it not? (laughs) My friends, thank you for being with us today in prayer. May God's love, may the winds of his love blow against you this day in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.